Directors, uh, and Happy New Year. Uh, it is Eric Previn, a county resident from District 3 and also a candidate for the CD2 election in the city. Um, uh, congratulations, obviously, are in order for Los Verdes, uh, the golf course uh, that was awarded again for three out of four years. I still have some substantial concerns about the ownership of that facility, and we'll get into that at another time. Uh, I want to say how pleased I am. The junior golf program is outstanding. And th these young winners are amazing. When I heard those numbers, each year I am impressed. And I also say just one quick word, the CIF champions, amazing. I mean, it's so powerful to see a group of young people achieve so much. Now, um, job order contracting is something that the county has been rolling up its sleeves and getting into. At item 1D today, uh, the job order contract for $4.5 million. Um, I'm concerned because World or two actually for 4.5 up to 4.5 million. It's worldwide constructions one again. Now this group uh, beat the other competitors by offering to do the job at 53 cents on the dollar. Now when someone tries to do work for Mr. Ridley Thomas or Mr. Previn or Mr. Antonovich for 53 cents on the dollar, we ask, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? I mean, how can you do it for 53 cents on the dollar? Is the question that uh, uh, somebody who hires a contractor wants to know. Well, I asked Sean Rogan, who said, I don't care. So that was a red flag for me. But it's not just in the Community Development Commission. This program, Job Order Contracting, brought to you by Gordian Group out of South Carolina, is being rolled out in other departments uh, in the county and has been for a number of years. Public Works, Jacob Williams, is well informed and can work with somebody in the CEO's office. Today we have uh, Ms. Hamai sitting in that chair, but she's familiar with Job Order Contracting, I assume. But it needs to be looked at from the CEO's office so that we can tighten up, make sure that labor compliance is appropriate, make sure that we're not being um, charged for work that's not repetitive work. Like, for example, the library program that we'll be doing uh, out in Mr. Antonovich's district, if I got it correct, is a $4.4 million project, but it's being done on a job order contract. Makes no sense to me. Um, so I will say, uh, in compliment to Mayor Antonovich, item number four is a $50,000 plus gift for the volunteers in the county, which I think is really, really nicely done, and it's fully disclosed how much uh, is being spent, and I think that's appropriate. Um, one minor note for the executive office, on the board's website today, uh, there is still a picture of Mayor uh, of Mr. Yaroslavsky and Supervisor Molina. I think it's been enough time to try to pull that down and put up the, the new supervisors. I think we would really appreciate seeing that. Um, and. Uh, Finally, I want to say item six is really a great piece of business. It's uh, our bookmark contest in the library. And I love the way this is being conducted. Uh, it's simply a parking grant for the people to come down and celebrate these wonderful kids who do great work. Uh, let's also look at um, some kind of a civic engagement parking subsidy because we too are volunteers and we come down and it's hard to park down here and it would be a great uh, step forward. Thank you.